Now I want to show you all uh, how to use a rubric. Have you all, you know how to, you all create rubrics, right? Rubrics for everything. But when you create rubrics for e-learning, you can use something known as Ruby star. Have you all used Ruby star? You have not used Ruby star. Okay, Zul, you can go to Ruby star. Ruby star. R-U-B-I-S-T-R. No, just open one. Ruby. R-U-B-I. Ruby. Ruby. I-I. -I. Ruby star. Ruby star. Actually, what, what's happening is when you submit an assignment for uh, evaluation in the system, you know what, you, what as a lecturer, what we generally do, we have to print, we have to download. Usually we don't print, we download it, but some lecturer even print it. And then you need to mark that assignment, right? Usually you have to mark it based on a rubric. So what you do, it's quite difficult because you have to download it, then you have to open up the PDF file and you have to look at it and mark it, and then you have to mark into the system. Actually, our system allows you to mark using a rubric. Is a, do you all use the rubric inside the smart tool? No, right? So before you go into the system itself, you can create a rubric using the system known as Ruby star. You all have, you all have used Ruby star? Rubric, this is a rubric generator. Okay. It, the beauty of the system is that it's open source. It's created by teachers and lecturers all over the world. They have uploaded their rubrics here. So you can just download their rubric and reuse it. So you don't have to create a rubric from scratch, okay? So if you go into Ruby Star, it's actually a American uh, site, <laughs> Ruby Star. So Ruby Star is very good for automated rubrics. It's free. It's it's just a platform. It's like H5P. It's free. Everything which we give you is free <laughs> because we can't afford the paid version of it. So Ruby star. Okay, so Ruby star, you all got it all? You all have it? Okay, so close. Okay, so in Ruby star, right? Okay, go Abzul. In Ruby star, you have existing templates. Okay, so generally we have a Ruby star for oral project, means oral presentation you have here. You have for reading, art, work, skill, sciences, music, you can select here. So usually we generally select for oral project, writing and science because oral project for the presentation in, in the project one, project two, you can also select for writing for the thesis or you can select for the sciences, okay? So let's click for example on uh, writing. We use writing usually, right? Writing skills, okay? So writing for example, project report, lab report, right? Just go, you can see, okay, science lab report, okay. Lab report, you click. For example, in your science lab report, what will ch you will be checking? Introduction, then you will be checking whether hypothesis, objectives, problem statement, all, and then you'll have material method and so on and so forth, right? So you can, so you have your rubric information. You can click your name, okay, so demonstration rubric, okay. Creating, okay, don't, don't add all those first. You add here, okay, so okay, 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 okay. okay. Okay, let's look at, okay. So this is the, uh, these are the criteria. For example, click please choose, please choose, okay. Okay, for example, this one, for instance, I want to put, uh, uh, for example, the purpose spelling, pronunciation, grammar, okay, participation, procedures. Okay, introduction, right, where's introduction? Atas, introduction, not here. You can create, if it's not there, you can create. For example, you just click on the background source, uh, literature review, background source, okay. Background source, okay? Okay, now this is te testing your citation, how well you cite it. So, for example, four marks, good citation. One mark, incorrectly copy and paste into student word. So, that is incorrect. So, you have the grading from four, three, two, and one mark. So, suppose you have your assessment, you have given four marks, then you can actually use this as a rubric for that. So, with the rubric, you have to be very careful that you show the students a rubric. It's to be fair to them. They should be aware of the rubric before you actually implement the rubric. Otherwise, they won't know. That's not fair on the student. So you have rubric, okay? So next one, you want to check for material and method. For instance, you want to check for replicability, materials, materials, okay, materials, okay? So you can add. So this one, all material method, you can give. If you want to change that, you can change it. It's, it's not fixed. You can actually go in and edit the rubric. So once you create this rubric, you can actually save it and download it. So once you create a rubric and you, on Ruby star, it will remain there in your name as the creator of the rubric. 
So the rubric, well, other people can reuse your rubric as well, okay? So this is the generalized rubric. If you want to modify, you can modify. For example, you want to add introduction, you can add here, so you just put it. No, you, you, you can select, you can select the scale. You can compute the scale, interact. For example, you can put uh, introduction, introduction. Uh, for example, this is the introduction, right? The, uh, then I can put the introduction has, L, but you should be very specific in this. For example, I hear the introduction is poorly written and is disjointed, it gets zero, one mark. Or here you put the introduction is, you need to specify. The introduction has elements of, uh, for example, you can put the introduction has elements in which the content was clearly introduced. There is a clear gap analysis, there is a hypothesis, and there's an objective and a scope. That means a full introduction. Okay, that's carry the highest mark. The next one can be without the scope. Then the next one you remove the objectives, so on and so forth. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can you can actually edit it, but then you have to key in and you have to key in your name and log in. You log in to the system, you log in to Rubista, you will get a blank template, you can key it in. <laughs> oh, because they they have done it on optimal doctor. Once I asked the presenter why they use four, is because four is the you cannot make it more refined than four. I mean they yeah. Oh, okay, so you want to give them more room for oh. You 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 can you can add you can modify it. You just log in and then you can modify the scale. So once you save it, it saves into the system as well in your name. So you'll have your name rubric creator. <coughs> so you as a temporary you save it and then you can save it as a file. Okay, so go down, go down, Zul, then you save it and you're done. Okay, you save. Oh, you need to complete everything and then you submit the page and then the rubric is saved into the system. But you need to log on before you do this. So it's saved under your name, okay, in the Rubista system. Okay. So then you can add this rubric to your page. Okay, so Zul, you can create. Okay, so you save it here and then, so you log in there and you learn, you create rubric. You're not, you have member there? It's okay, right? So you, did you understand how you use the Rubista? So Rubista is a very good source for rubrics when you are having a limit. So you click, you can log in, and I think you'll all register here and create rubrics because once you create a rubric, you won't lose it again. You can always go and back and exploit. Sign up, sign up, sign up. Just put your names up. We are trying to give as many as possible because these are all free sites, so we can't use integration. You see, they are all free uh, software, so we cannot integrate them with one like Google. Four, four digit only, five, okay. Use UMS, UMS. Get one. That one put 999, some bilan, some bilan, some bilan, some bilan, 9999. Okay, register. So once you're in there, you can create new rubric. Uh, you can go in for, or you can, uh, so you can temporary rubric. Then you can edit it. You can edit the rubric. I don't know where it is, the editing button. Okay. So you can edit. Just put one Zulali. One only, one or two. No, no need to. Just put one exists. Exist. Yeah. <coughs> conclusion, put some conclusion. Usually you should have more button and then you just save. Save, save, save. Save, save, save submit. can increase that, but it become more and more complicated when you do co adding the yeah. 
safe submit. Okay, you can modify it later on if you need to. So you can print or download the rubric here. So you can download Excel spreadsheet. You have Excel, you have Microsoft Office there, right? Ah, so. So this one you can then put in your ah there. this one you can add to your program file or your course file sorry your course file to show all your rubrics okay so the rubrics are and later on when you are doing the assessment you can give to the student that this will be your rubric for particular this particular assessment okay. it's clear about the rubista rubista. Tired. You all need a break. <laughs> I think they need a break. <laughs> Twelve already. So they need a break. You all need a break, Kapali. Kapali, you all need. A, they need a break.